What are the long-term implications of um, a treatment-induced early menopause um, for women beyond infertility? For example, what, what does, does your body age prematurely if you go into an early menopause? It is the, the impact of not having um, oestrogen for as long as you normally would have. So there are th certain things like oestrogen protects your heart, y your cardiovascular function. So there are, there are implications with that. Equally, osteoporosis is more of a risk because um, oestrogen keeps your, your, bones, your bones stronger. So there are a variety of things like that, but equally, oestrogen plays a role in things like vaginal lubrication. Mm -hmm. So there can be impact on, on sexual function. Mm -hmm. There are often um, mood and cognitive disturbances that have mm. been <laughs> described as well, mm -hmm. where people feel that their moods are all over the place. There are the traditional things you hear about of, of, of night sweats, so of going through the sort of acute symptoms mm -hmm. of menopause. There's also, um, Quite a quite clear evidence that if you go through a premature menopause, it is worse than going through a normal, a okay. natural menopause, um, and that you very much sort of go into it quite dramatically, mm. and that the symptoms are worse. Now that might be because the experience of the symptoms, because of what it means t to you. You were mm. going. Th I've spoken to women who said, you know, I was going through menopause at the same time as my mother-in-law. Mm. So it has a different psychological yes. implication um, for women who are going through a premature menopause. We do know that even if your chemotherapy doesn't put you straight into menopause, um, for women who have had chemotherapy, their menopause will still be earlier than it would have been normally. So it may not be a truly premature menopause, but it, they will still um, okay. go into menopause earlier than they would have done. Mm -hmm. And what about um, in men? Is there any, any implication of loss of fertility as far as you know, any long-term health implications for, for men beyond infertility? Not, no, that not, the, not in the not same way. Not that we're aware of, yeah, yeah. I think it's because of the ovaries function yeah. producing um, estrogen. estrogen. Um, is there anything other than, because obviously if you've got a hormone sensitive cancer, you can't take um, HRT for menopause symptoms. Is there anything that is safe to take um, to reduce, and, and, and for example, prevent some of the, the changes that come about because of the low estrogen? There is some really good lifestyle advice okay. around sort of make, making sure you have the appropriate amounts of vitamin D. Mm -hmm. uh, and actually what we need to do for women is give them clear advice as to what that means. So in terms of vitamin D, and it's difficult when we live in the UK, <laughs> but getting um, 15 minutes of sun twice a day onto your face, onto uncovered Mm -hmm. arms and actually clear things like that when we're talking people about vitamin d we need to tell them actually how much milk or on calcium for example we need to tell them how much milk that right what does cal if you're saying have this much calcium what does that mean yeah. to the average person so we need to be giving clear advice we also and there are uh, sort of herbal things there are things like just actually looking after your cardiovascular um health mm -hmm. by doing exercise, doing weight bearing exercise for your bones, mm -hmm. by not being overweight, by not smoking. So there are, but we need a sort of format to give that to women. So quite often women will just be discharged from, or it's not something that's disgusting yes, routine no, follow up. And that there is a need mm. to have specialist clinics where women can go to get that advice, mm. but we can do routine bone scans mm. so that we can see if their, um, sorry, bone densimetry scans, so that we can actually see if they are starting Yes. to lose bone mass so that we can do something mm. to manage it then. I think that's something that's very variable throughout mm. the country so some people get that kind of follow-up care and in other places it's just not present mm. so uh, it's and um, that's a, good for people to be aware yeah. that they should be kind of seeking out advice on that kind of thing yeah. if they do find they're in early menopause then. definitely yeah, yeah. yeah.